Okay, guys, I just wanted to introduce you to a concept of mine that I've been uh, working through, I guess, from the time I was a little kid. And you spend a lot of time on court doing a lot of solo practice, and you start to really understand the ball and the way it reacts to different types of swings, different types of spins, and, and then different times to implement all of that information while you're playing the game. So, you know, all of this is happening. Uh, in real time and it happens quicker and quicker as you move up and down the up up the ladder uh, and it happens a lot faster so being able to process all these opportunities and all this information uh, you know it takes a lot of practice and a lot of doing it and a lot of thinking about it and the thing about playing you know pro squash or top squash is you know your your brain is focused on this you're on this really 24 hours a day I mean you live eat sleep squash so even when you're not on court, you're feeling it and you're thinking about it. The last match, the next match, you know, what you did wrong, what you can improve on. And uh, one of the ways that uh, I, one of the things I use to separate myself or one of the things I, I use to really understand the width of the court and get the ball around the guy and, and dominate the tee was using a lot of spins and being able to sort of get positions on the court where the guy would spray the ball and that would give me an opportunity for deception and stuff like that. So always wanted to have the ball running away from the opponent. So they, when they're not in that comfortable spot. They're just reaching a little bit in an off zone position. It's here, it's there, causing the ball to be, you know, uh, play loose. If, uh, you know, if they're playing that shot 10 times from a tough position, you know, it's difficult to make that 10 times out of 10, you know. So uh, always looking for the right spin and the right width and how to hit each ball to get it past the guy to be able to dominate the tee, which is the focus of the whole game of squash. Get in front of the guy, manage the central position of the court, and stay there as long as possible. You do that, I, I won't guarantee a win, but it, the guy would have to be a pretty damn good mover to beat you if you stand on the tee for the whole match. So saying that, I take the squash ball, and in my solo practice, I would work all kinds of different swings and spins to the ball. So I look at the squash ball like a cue ball. So I wouldn't call myself the Ronnie O'Sullivan of squash, but you know, I'm at least a Stephen Hendry. So basically we're, we're looking at the ball like, like a cue ball and I want to use different spin, spins and different follow throughs for different types of shot. So depending on what shot we go through, and I'm gonna go through a sequence of shots, I'm gonna, I'm gonna implement the different type of spin. The basic principle, though, is when I'm hitting the ball straight, I like hitting the ball on the inside of the ball. That means if I'm hitting a forehand, I'm hitting here. And if I'm hitting a backhand, I'm hitting here. And if I'm hitting a cross court, I'm hitting a forehand over here, spinning the ball this way, and hitting a backhand cross court that way. And it's just simple spin. If I hit the ball, a backhand cross court on this side of the ball, it's gonna rotate the ball here and it's gonna go wider than, uh, than expected. And if I'm hitting a forehand cross court on this side of the ball, it's gonna spin it that way. It's gonna hit the front wall and it's gonna go wider. So if you miss hit it at all, at least the spin will carry it a little bit further than, uh, than leaving it in the middle of the court because you gotta, you gotta try to find ways to get that ball around them. So. Um, I'm going to go through a series of different shots and uh, talk a little bit about the spin, but it's not just the spin, it's the swing and the follow through, so it has to be added to the spin, so uh, we'll go through that now.